So just before we get started here, I want to give a bit of a shout out to the guy who actually made the ceiling possible. You know, I typically do all the work around here myself, but I had made such a mess of the ceiling with all the new electrical and plumbing I was installing that I had to call him the best drywaller I know to help me out. Luckily for you guys, he's got his own YouTube channel. So if you need any tips, tricks, advice on your drywall situation, I highly recommend you check it out. His name is Ben DeGro. I will put a link to his channel in the description below. That being said, let's do some painting. So first thing we're gonna do is talk about equipment. This here is an 18 inch roller. When you compare it to a standard size sleeve, you can see it's got almost twice the surface, which means you'll be able to finish the job twice as fast. So if you have an 18 inch roller, you'll also need a pan large enough for it to fit into. And you'll wanna pick up an extension pole as well to help you easily reach up to the ceiling. For this next part, I'm gonna slide on a rubber glove and then insert a strainer inside a clean five gallon bucket. Take my paint and pour it in. The amount I think I'll need for the job. Pull up my strainer. And this guarantees me I'm not going to have any artifacts in my paint. Now we'll take our clean paint and we'll pour it into our pan. Dip it in, make sure that our roller is completely covered. There you go. And now we're ready to apply it to the ceiling. Now that I have my roller all loaded up with paint, I wanna make sure of a few things before I begin. First thing is glasses. You want to be wearing a pair because this thing will cast off spray and if it catches you in the eye, it does sting. The second thing is make sure you have something covering your floor. Right now, I just have some RAM board. It works perfectly well. The third thing is, what direction do I paint first? Well, if you just have an existing ceiling, you want to go away from the window in the room. So I have a window in the front here and if I'm just doing one top coat, I'm going to go this way, away from the window. And the reason I'm doing that is because if I go this way and I leave any kind of ridges in the paint, when the sun shines in from the window, it's gonna cast over those ridges and you're gonna see it from across the room. If you go this way, the sun shines in the same way as the ridges and you won't be able to see them, all right? So if you have a, a new ceiling like I do, what I've already done is I've painted primer in this direction to start with and I did my first coat of flat ceiling paint going this way. And now my final coat, I'm gonna go back the same way as the primer, again, to hide any last ridges that might be there. When it comes to the actual painting, I find the easiest way is to paint in a large square pattern. I roll approximately five feet in length and then move across five feet until I've completed a five by five square. You do need to use a bit of force to make sure that the paint covers well but you also need to watch any ridges that may form in the process. So if you put up a bright light to shine across the ceiling, you'll be able to spot those ridges pretty easily and then smooth them over with a light roll before moving on to your next square. All right, then when it comes to the corners, you wanna get your roller close to the wall, but within an inch or two is fine because your brush is gonna fill in that gap. So when you're getting ready to cut in, get yourself a three inch angle brush. And one of these little handy pails is great. It's got a magnet right here. The brush sticks on, so it won't dip too far into the paint. We load up our brush, and now we're ready to go. All right, so since I don't have any paint on my walls yet, I don't have to be very careful how I'm gonna paint this corner. All I wanna do is cover where the roller missed all the way to where the wall begins. After I do a couple coats of that, I come back with my wall color, and I cut in this way with my brush because cutting in this way is a whole lot easier than cutting in upside down. In fact, if you already have paint on your walls and you wanna protect it, what I would do is put a piece of painter's tape all the way around the top edge here, and then come back with your brush and paint upside down. That way you can just peel off your painter's tape and the job's done. 
Well, I hope you got something out of this video, and if you did, you know, please consider subscribing. On the other hand, if you found the sound of my voice annoying, like, like my wife does, uh, I get it, you know, I get it. But anyway, thanks for taking the time to watch, and I, I hope to see you again. So until then, please stay safe.